This clock shows you your current blood glucose levels and it's available for as little as £30. It's got buttons on top, you can cycle through the various screens. It even shows you a graph of your current blood glucose levels. It's available whether you are a freestyle library like me, a Dexcom, or you're hooked up to Night Scout. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just think it's such a good product and for only £30, it's so worth it. There's a little bit of a setup involved. That's what this video is for. This is how you can set up this clock to work with your blood glucose levels. It's so good, I bought a second one to go through the entire process together. Right, let's get started. So first I'm going to show you where you can actually buy this clock. So we're going to start with Amazon. It is more expensive, but it is Amazon, so it's pretty trusted. So I'll show you where you can get it first. So at the top, you're just going to type in Ilanzi TC001, press enter, and it's here. Right now, it's available on Amazon for £52. So you can get it here if you want. However, what I do is I buy it directly from AliExpress. So if you go to AliExpress, you do the same thing. You type in Ulanzi TC001. There'll be various different options. And you can quite often find them for less than £30. So for example, here we've got 41, 45, 31, 36. For right now, it's £31, which isn't too bad. So I click on this, we'll just make sure. Yep, this is the Ulanzi TC001. This is the one I've got and it has free shipping as well. So this is the one I bought and this is the one I recommend. I will leave links to these down below. However, the prices may fluctuate, so it might be better if you actually do a direct search. Just remember, if you are buying this through AliExpress, you're likely to have a slight delay compared to if you were to order it through Amazon, for example. I ordered both of mine through AliExpress. The first one, I think, came in six days. The second one came in a week. I just preferred to go for the cheaper option as it was literally half the price of the Amazon version. Right, let's see what we got. Now, this clock was originally intended as a follower clock. However, all the menus in it are in Chinese. It's a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this, plug it onto our computer and flash it with a different software. I'll show you how that all works. Right, let's get into it. This is the box it comes in. It's pretty straightforward. It's just the clock itself and a USB cable. This does work off USB-C and you can plug it into just any wall outlet. Right, let's get started. There we go, that's it. So the clock and the USB-C cable. So the software we're going to put onto this is called Night Scout Clock and it's available on GitHub. Let's head to Google and I'll show you how to get there. So open up any browser, go to Google and simply type in Night Scout Clock GitHub. This is the one you want, ktomi slash Night Scout Clock. Click on this. This will take you to the GitHub page for this project. Now, bear in mind, this is an open source project. People are collaborating on this and working on it together, so it might not be perfect. I've had this for months though. I've not had a problem and I've seen many development updates over that time. You're in good hands. So if you scroll down this page, you can see various screenshots of what it does, what it can do, how to install it all, the various screens it has, and how to set it all up. I'm gonna go through this entire thing with you. Don't worry. Okay, let's get started. We're going to scroll down to the instructions part of this page. Thankfully, I've already done step one, which is buy the clock, and I've waited for it to arrive. So we're going to go to step three, which is unpack, turn on, by pressing the forward and back buttons at the same time, and let this actually turn on. Let's get started. So I'm just going to take the clock out of the packaging, and you see the buttons on the top. You've got forward, the middle button, and the back button. So we're just going to press the forward and back button together at the same time, and wait for it to turn on. You'll hear a beep, and it'll say Ulanzi. Right, that's the clock turned on. The next step is to plug this in to your computer. I'm just going to use the cable that comes with this. However, any other cable works fine. The last time I used my iPhone cable and it worked just fine. So we're going to unwind this, plug the USB-C end into the back of this and plug the USB-A end into my computer. Okay, that's the clock now plugged into my computer. Let's head back to GitHub. Okay, we can now go to step five, which says go to the installation page. So let's just open this up in a new tab. So this is it. This is the page for the entire application. It's really, really simple. This is kind of just a repeat of the instructions on the GitHub page. However, we're going to go through it. So we've turned on the device, we've connected it. So now we just press the connect button below. After clicking connect, you then get a list of everything which is plugged into your computer using USB. If you're unsure which one this is, you can simply unplug it and plug it back in. When you do that, you can see that USB serial COM7 appeared. So that's the one that this is. I'm just going to press connect. It now says connecting. And I get the option to install Night Scout Clock or the logs and console. I simply just want to install the software. So I'm going to click on Install Night Scout Clock. 
Click that. Do you want to install Night Scout Clock 0.22? You might have a different version. Yours might be slightly higher than this. The current version is 0.22. So I'm just going to click install. This is going to make a long beep, which is the software installing. I don't know if you can hear that. It's pretty high pitched and this will last for about two minutes. Don't be alarmed. And there we go. That's it. The software is on it. You can see now this is displaying a very colorful fancy message with the next instructions. So let's get on and do this part. Okay, the first thing it's telling us to do is to join the NS Clock Wi-Fi network. So let's do this on my computer. So I'm going to go down here, go to Wi-Fi, click on this, and NS Clock pops up. I'm just going to click Connect. This will then connect the Wi-Fi of my computer to the Wi-Fi of the clock. You can also just do this on your phone. Just go to your settings, Wi-Fi, find NS Clock, and connect to it that way. Okay, there we go. That's my computer now connected to this clock. So we're now going to go to the address which is listed, which is 192.168.4.1. So we're going to open up a new tab. Go to 192.168.4.1 and press enter. This will then connect the computer to the actual clock and give you an area to put in all the settings. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is actually connect this clock to the actual Wi-Fi in your home. So you're just going to need to enter the name of your Wi-Fi and your password. I'm obviously going to blur mine out, but just enter yours in. It's probably on the card on the back of your router, if you don't already know it. Okay, that's me put in my Wi-Fi name and its password. So now we're going to put in the glucose data source. This is basically just the sensor you have in your arm and how you get the information from it. So if you choose Dexcom, you simply put in your username and password for your Dexcom account. I, however, use a Freestyle Libre, so I use the Libre Link Up account. Note that it's slightly different from your Libre View account. The Libre Link Up account is the one you can share with medical teams, etc. So I'm going to choose the Libre Link Up here and put in my account email and password. You can set up a new account on this if you want, just for safety. However, I just use my normal one. Okay, there we go. That's my email and password put in. The Dexcom server bit I've just left as Europe. That seems to work for me. Next, we're going to choose the blood glucose units. I'm in the UK, so I use millimol per litre. However, you can use mg per dl if you want. And now you're going to set the different colours that will be displayed on the screen. So the urgent low, that's when it turns red. So I'm going to go anything below four. I want it to be red. For my low value, I'm going to choose five. That means from between four and five, it's going to display as yellow. Then it's going to be green for the next part. The high bit is the slight warning one. So I'm going to go for a nine here. And my urgent high, I'm going to set as ten. You can choose these values to be whatever you want to be. Next, you can choose your alerts. I'm not going to bother with my alerts. My phone is loud enough and I always wake up from my phone. However, if you don't really wake up with your phone, you can try these out and see what you think. For the default clock face, I like to have the current time and blood glucose value as mine as I keep it in my bedroom and it's just nice to see the time. I live in Scotland, so I'm going to keep it as Europe and London and I like 24 hour format. And that's it. Now I'm going to just going to click validate, save and restart and the clock it's going to do some funky things on the screen and it's simply going to restart and cycle through. Okay, that's me now. Click save and you can see the clock is now working. This will display a different IP address. Use this if you just want to go and make any changes to it. If you don't, just let this cycle through and you'll get to your clock face in a second. There you go. And now it shows me the time and my current blood glucose values. You can use the buttons in the top to go through the different screens and choose which one you want. And that's it. You're all set up. This does have a battery inside it, so you can disconnect it from power and it'll work. However, I just keep mine plugged in on my nightstand. The brightness does go pretty low, so it's not too bright and in your face. And that's it. That's the clock now all set up. There's only one thing left to do. Please, if you have found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps me out and it might help other people find this video as well. Take care.